Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Hey, what's going on? Welcome back. This is uh, Mad Money Shot, bringing you guys another top five video. These are top five uh, passing plays, the most explosive passing plays to use. Other than that, if you want to see more top five videos like this, whether more pass plays, run plays, defenses, do me a favor, hit the like button, and I'll do that next. Other than that, let's go ahead and let's get into the video. The wide receiver corner and the bench switch are going to be very similar, but the wide receiver corner at least has that cornerback route. So to me, this is the best one of the two. I guess we'll pick uh, cover two to start. That's typically the easiest way to go. So this play right here, like I said, this is something that um, you can do uh, with a couple different plays. I'm basically going to be focusing on the left side with the Y and the X route. If it's, yeah, I can, I mean, you can put this guy here on a flat route. You can put the Y route on a flat route and have success with this in the underneath game, just pitch and catch, and then you can steal some yards pretty much all game. That's something you can do. So in the last video, in the run plays, I made use of sand of this uh, motion here, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this play. So I can keep that flat route that I had with Goodwin, I just now I'm doing it with Samuel. And if I do it with Samuel on the outside like this, he's uncovered now. He's not, he, he's gonna be the first read to that cover two cornerback unlike in the previous setup because Goodwin's in closer he would have been a secondary read so the defense is going to react differently and the idea here is to get uh, Sanders open now now this is to make an explosive play to the X route so even though it's the same cover too and it looks like a very similar setup it's going to be different as you can see right here that streak pulls that safety back the flat pulls the corner down and we have a really big hole so if I want to I can do that streak I can put uh, Samuel on that flat ahead of time and then I can get like a running start if I put him in that on the way across I can get that exact same look in like a running start too as you can see right here it basically comes out like uh, you know that's almost like a wheel like a, uh, a bubble screen or something if you do it like that so there's a lot of things that you can do here um, to get some advantages with this look like I said, it's pretty tricky. And if, like I said, if I snap him when he gets right behind the, seat, the receivers, you can see right there. A little bit of a bubble screen. Get that exact same thing. We get a nice catch and run. We get it to our playmakers and let it make plays. So there's a couple different ways you can run this play. It just depends on who you want to hit. So if your opponent is usering, say you come to a stop and your opponent knows what you're doing, they start usering that X route, that's when you hit him with the other variation. That's when you hit him with that little bubble screen. Make sure that he's staying down. But you can see, I mean, this is definitely a big lane. As you, I got to I gotta safe catch that. Probably want to run that a little bit closer to the other boundary, but it's still a really successful play. And then if you really want to, um, you can put the A route on a streak. It just kind of helps out everything at the end of the day. Um, but there's a couple different things you can do. Like I said, this is something that is really a hard to play, hard stop, or hard play to stop. As you can see right here, I fumble my words and we get a touchdown. Typically, I'd have to edit that out, but since I scored a touchdown, I'm about to leave it in. Now, this play is also really explosive against cover three. You don't necessarily make the same motion though. That's really the only thing. Um, you're going to be streaking these inside routes, uh, and you're going to try to exploit the Y route this time. So basically, that X route once you motion him out pulls that cover three cornerback down and you can see how easily this is a one play touchdown against cover three cover two you can do more things you can still do a lot of the things that you were doing um, I mean you can do like you can have the exact same setup uh, as far as uh, as far as that goes but you're not going to have that explosive play to the outside which is what you want but you'll still have this so if you run this if you run it this way against cover three a lot of times you'll have this receiver this uh, this um, corner route but obviously why would you want that when you can have an explosive play uh, uh, explosive home run play so this is obviously better for whatever reason in this defense I don't know why that cornerback comes down the way he is I mean this is just so gone <laughs> you know what I mean it's it's an easy mode touchdown cover threes are not very good I've, I've made a lot of videos explaining how they both basically broke cover three uh, and it just really makes the seams that much easier to hit. Um, you can use this same motion in some of the run plays that I showed just to set up this one play touchdown so it doesn't look so obvious when you pull it out. But I mean, this is just, I mean, he's gone after about 20 feet uh, down the field. So the next play I'm going to show is pretty coverage specific to cover three. It's the verticals play. You just want to make sure you have your fastest receiver here. So this play right here, it almost looks augmented by design so that it doesn't do what I'm about to make it do, which is basically destroy cover three. Uh, all I'm going to do is put Gin on a streak. That's it. That's the only thing I really have to do. I find that putting Cook on a streak helps. And if I really want to take it further, I can even put Kamara on a streak and motion him out. And I find that all this is going to do is really space out the cover. This is really going to stress to cover three uh, corners of safeties so go ahead and doing that and like i said i'm just going to go ahead i'm going to wait for the y route 
you know, throw them back shoulder, you know, lead them away from the safety. And you can see how we're just, we're just spreading them out and shredding them right now. So that's the easiest way to do it. You don't, obviously, like I said, when you make a motion, a lot of times um, your opponent will think that's where the play is going. But all I'm really doing here is spreading out the play. So that's going to be the easiest way to do it. You can see how the cover three safety a lot of times will shift over towards the center, making this even harder for them to get in position. And then obviously, like I said, I'm just pass leading and, 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 and you know, flipping it out there. I'm not bullet passing. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just tossing it up, just floating the pass. You don't have to do that. I mean, you can just leave it as is. You don't have to motion out the running back. But you can see how that safety is a much better position. I can still make the play, though. You know what I mean? I'm still getting the space. It's just a much tighter play. So for whatever reason, if you want them to respect the runner, you know, whatever, you can still do that. But obviously, you know, it, it obviously makes sense. It makes too much sense to do it the easy way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this is just, it just completely changes the coverage. And then, like I said, I mean, you can just see that that, that outside cornerback, for whatever reason, you could bullet pass it from this scenario too. But you can see, for whatever reason, that outside cornerback just has to respect that outside route. So, like I said, I mean, you have your, your screen wheel, which I don't even have in the audibles. I forgot to put it there. Um, but then, obviously, you can just switch right over to this vertical. You see a cover three. You see somebody make that mistake. This is probably the most explosive cover three play in the game. Uh, all you're really doing is you're just attacking the seams. You're just streaking everybody. <laughs> you're just, I mean, obviously, you know, like I said, this is all mad, and it's just, it's just so spread out. There's nothing the defense can do. So if anybody makes a mistake of coming out in a cover three, this is the easiest cover three one-play touchdown in the game. Uh, most cover threes, you have to, like, have a receiver crossing the field and find the gap between the cornerback and the safety and a lot of times a user that runs cover three is smart enough to follow that so if you have a play like this where it's just it's just they're, they're not going to cover the seams they're going to cover the middle of the field typically you're just going to cover the the you know either the slot defender or the linebacker and then you're just going to be torching them for this super uh easy um cover three seam one play touchdown and like i said if you have a speed receiver a real speed receiver it's going to be even easier so the first play that i'm going to pick is the wide trail that's a really glitchy play that needs zero adjustments to be effective i'm going to go ahead i'm going to pick that i'm going to put all these plays in my audibles which i've already put in i'm going to show you a cover two beater a cover three beater and a cover four beater all of which are one play touchdowns uh including the fl drive at the bottom there um the uh where are we at here the deep cross and the pa scissors all of these plays can be home runs against covers two three and four and i'm going to show that in this video so let's start off with the cover two play so starting off with the wide trail, like I said, this play right here, it needs zero adjustments. I'm going to make adjustments. I'm going to show adjustments that really make this play better. But if you're not very good at adjustments, all you need to do is run this play against a cover two. And the route that Sanders is running, you just kind of have to wait till it gets about 20 yards out. And it's just a completely broken route. You can see how it gets outside of the cover two incredibly easily. The Niners are a good team, but they don't necessarily have a great receiving course. Sanders is okay, but he shouldn't be breaking defenses like that. Like I said, you just kind of wait till he gets past that cornerback pass lead outside and bullet and it's just completely broken so this is a really good route i've shown this route off in a couple of my plays already and i don't think there's really too much that i should have to show if you want to make the play a little bit more of a wider window you can motion over kittle and put him on a streak uh, this is not necessary though and if you do this uh, your opponent has a better chance of following that over but you can see how it makes the throwing window that much bigger Completely unnecessary, though. I mean, like I said, a good pass lead and a good bullet pass is really all you're going to need to get this play done. And since this play is coverage specific, I would say that you can block your running back, you can block your, your tight end, or as many as you really want because you're really just aiming for the X route. But you could also make a couple adjustments to make this play even harder to cover. If you motion over Kittle, put him on a streak like I just did, and then put Sanders on a drag, now you really have three levels of passing that are all going to beat cover two. As you can see right here, I mean, the cornerback completely bails for that drag route, which makes it just an easier throw over the top. That's really all it is. So if you really wanted to maximize this against a cover two, that would be the setup. Motioning Kittle over, putting the uh, the B route on a drag, blocking all of your running backs, and you're going to have um, the most, you know, the, the easiest version of it. As you can see right there, the cornerback bails once again. Uh, but like I said, it's unnecessary. So I would prefer not to tip my hand, just run the play as is maybe you know put kill on a streak uh, and then do the drag at the very least but don't show your hand but the flanker drive is a little bit better so since I'm focusing on cover two flanker drive is gonna be the best of the two 
So all I'm going to do to make this a really good cover two concept is put the A route on a streak. That's all I have to do. I wish that I could motion out Coleman to the right a little bit and kind of create a three wide receiver set, but I can't really do that. So I have to deal with it the way that it is, which is fine. But both sides of this play are cover two beaters, whether it's Kittle and Samuel or Sanders and Coleman, they're both going to have the same effect. I just pretty much have to diagnose and get the ball out as quick as possible. Because you can see, I mean, ultimately, I'm, I'm right under the line of scrimmage, so I don't have a ton of time. i got to get rid of the ball as fast as I can. You know, that's the one thing about passing under center like this, is you can leave yourself in a little bit of hot water, especially if you don't have a really mobile QB. But you can see, like I said, you have two routes that are really going to be explosive. Two routes are pulling coverage, and two routes are, are making the play. The A route's pulling the coverage on the right side, and the B route's pulling the coverage on the left side. You just have to basically wait until they till they clear. Like I said, I don't like how Garoppolo is really stepping into the... He's not dropping back. Like I said, you really want a mobile quarterback when you run something like this, because you want to drop back further than I am. So if somebody's running a lot of cover twos, this is going to be a very successful play. Plus the fact that um, you can't really user this. You know what I mean? Like both sides are having success as I accidentally run out of bounds. If your opponent's running a lot of cover twos and you're and you're beating them with this play, they can't make a user adjustment because they can just go to the other side. So that's one of the things I like about this play is you is you have something explosive on both sides of the field. So another awesome one play touchdown against cover two is the curl drag. I'll pick that next. This is a very unique play with a very unique route. We'll pick uh, the nickel cover two. This will work against some odd coverages like uh, the cover three cloud, the cover six, because half of the formation is a cover two. You just have to identify which side of it's a cover two. Uh, but like I said, we'll just go, we'll pick uh, cover two, show four. It doesn't really matter. So like I said, I mean, if you, if you can read which side of the defense is a cover two, then this play will work. You're just going to motion them across, just like I showed in a lot of the run plays. Uh, this is all you really have to do. And then one of these receivers here uh, has to be on a streak. It doesn't really matter which one. But if you put this one on a streak, uh, a lot of times that'll make more sense because you want to pull the safety inside. It doesn't really matter, but that's definitely one of the ways to go. And then the B route is going to be the play. As you can see right here, he's just wide open outside uh, because it shoots right for uh, the gap. It shoots right where the area is that's open the most. Like I said, it doesn't really matter which receiver you put on that route. I mean, I just give myself a drag because I want to check down. I typically will block these the, the tight end and the running back, although, that, although that's completely unnecessary because this play gets open so fast, you're not really going to get sacked. I mean, that just doesn't happen. So, But it's still a good idea. Like I said, give yourself blocking, give yourself as much as you can. The safety there, he wasn't even threatened. He just knows the streak's coming and backs off. It's just a an error when it comes to cover two. If you want to, you can borrow from the same concept that I was just doing as I accidentally put the wrong guy on a streak. If you want to, you could have all the plays on this side of the field and just put this guy in a flat. He'll still get open a lot of times because, like I said, he's kind of covered up. He's close to the line. He's going to be the last receiver that the defense accounts for. And you can see you really have three different options here. You have three different layers um, just by making these adjustments. I'll go ahead and I'll just put these guys on blocks one more time. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to go for the home run. But say I guessed wrong. Say it was a cover three or something like that. The Y route's going to be then the option, and a really good option at that. But like I said, I mean, it's, this is just like stealing. As you can see right there, my biggest issue is the silent. That's the only defender that's anywhere near stopping this play. So I'm going to go to my end of it there. Uh, but if you guys want to see more like this, more videos like this, um, out of the West Coast, out of whatever alternate playbook, let me know in the comment section. I'm hit the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.